Uh, I'm really happy to be in front of so uncanny beautiful audience today. And this is my story. Two frogs and pail of milk. There are two frogs which live on the pond of the farm. They were brothers. One of them was very active. He explored every interesting place around the farm. He was so active, he played basketball, he ran marathons, went to the gym, uh, go to mountain, played tennis. He had a constant job, this frog, and uh, he visited like trainings, read a lot of books about self-improvement, and he visualized his future, how he will be powerful, rich and famous. He visualized the like his future family, he drew his ideal wife, he had uh, like dream maps on his walls. And and second one was not so active. He was very lazy. He drank beer, smoked cigarettes and spent all his days with friends. He liked to sing music and listen to music. These kinds of rocks to whom you can call at any time and invite to party and it, he will come. And easy going, you know. And active. Frog always shouted on this lazy log. You have to have aim. You have to be responsible. You have to find a constant job, normal job. You should think about the future. And lazy one replied. Okay, man, relax, relax. Life's short, you know. And see the moment. Everything is okay. Enjoy the moment, man. And one day, these two frogs, and it was a very hot day, sitting on the pond, swimming, and active said, let's go to find some adventure, because you are sitting here all day long. And said, uh, lazy one replied, okay, no problem, I don't want to, but let's go. And they went to the barn and found there the big, big pail. They hopped on the edge of this pail and found that half of this pail full of some white liquid. Lazy one say, What's that? Is it white water? Active reply, I don't know. Let's figure out. And they jump in the pail and creating big splash, white big splash. To their surprise, this white liquid was like slippery soap. It was thinner than water and they start to sound there. They tried to get out from this pail. They tried hard to grip, to get a grip on the sleek wall of the pail, they, but their effort was useless. And two brothers were trapped. Lazy one said, okay, that's end. I'm satisfied, I enjoyed my life. Really? I like this world, I can live it without any regrets. Why not? I enjoyed all my life. Okay, I can live it with a calm soul. And he gave up and sung. Second one said, No, I will not give up, I will survive. Because I haven't achieved my goals yet. I won't be rich, I want to be famous. I will survive. This is not about how life, how, how it's not about how strong you are. Yes, it's not about how <laughs> it's about how you can over okay. So it's about to be strong in this life. And he said that I will kicking, I will continue kicking this water until I can kick anymore. And he started kicking. 
kicked and splashed, kicked and splashed, kicked and splashed. <laughs> then, um, when he almost wanted to, to give up, he understood that the, he is not in white border. Now he is on the yellow big ball. He made this white water, it was milk, to the cream. Then he started to run and made this cream to the butter. And then jump out from this pail and he was alive. Then he takes this butter and recognizes that it's tasty. He sells this butter to the market, take money and invest in few new pails of milk. Then hire frogs, put them in these pails and they, of course, some of them died. Okay. <laughs> but some of them survived, you know, and they become part of his big company. He started to invest this, in this company, he put this money in development, then he opened his small diary farm. Business started to grow. Then he bought first his milk factory, then second one, third one, fourth one, and he became very rich, famous. And he had a lot of money. He didn't know how to spend this money. He had no place to grow and develop. And he was on the peak of his career. He was like a king of the world. And at this moment, he felt in his chest, frog's small chest, some emptiness. And he started to fill this emptiness with drugs and alcohol. And this, and after like a while, he stand in front in his like countryside village with a glass of wine, with cigarette, and he was very, very high. And he was sad and happy. He stood there, smoked cigarette, some coke on the nose, wine, and he fell down to his pool in his precious village and died. Moral of the story, be happy. <laughs> Happiness inside you is not about something to achieve. It. Maybe you want to achieve something now and you are trying really hard but it's not coming to you. Maybe it's better for you. And don't use the drugs. <laughs>